I've seen some wild stuff within Christianity, like the conversation on, well, if you don't speak in tongues, you're not saved. Um, if you have not been baptized by the water, you're not saved. Like the role of women within the church and whether or not they should be silent or whether or not they should be in leadership and things like that. But nothing like the conversations I've heard between the suffering believer and the prosperous believer. So we're going to talk about it. Suffering versus prosperity. Let's get it. For joining us on that christian fam if growing in the faith is important to you hit that subscribe button because over here we like to encourage empower and give you everyday practical christian advice on real life situations we drop videos every tuesday and friday so while you're at it hit that notification bell because for the first hour we respond to comments immediately suffering versus prosperity now there are people who are in the traditional camp who like to emphasize suffering let's go to romans 8:18. i ain't no journalist but y'all know what's up it says for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing to the glory that is to be revealed in us or to us. Now in that verse, he was talking about the persecution towards believers from the Romans at that time. Let's look at John 14 and one. It says, man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. This means because of the depravity of man, whether you're saved or not, there are things you just gonna have to go through just because you are in this world let me add this real quick some of the stuff you dealing with ain't persecution you just out there acting a the fool and you want to put a pretty bow on it and call it suffering that ain't suffering fam stop acting a fool but the two scriptures i just mentioned have been taken way out of context and they have taken those scriptures and making whole gospels out of them. and the extreme is if you have nice things then you must be doing something wrong you must be cutting corners like it's a sin for christians to have nice things now I believe God can use suffering and I ain't talking about that cute suffering I ain't talking about when somebody talks about you on social media and now you and your feelings I'm talking about that kind of suffering that hurts to the core to where you got to sing songs like yes Jesus loves me because the pain you currently dealing with makes you question if he really cares I'm talking about that kind of suffering where you question dang is this God's will or did I put myself in this situation those situations can really work for your good because it's in those situations situations where you really find out how strong your faith is somebody might see you going through a struggle and then you come out of it and now they have seen how good God is if this is adding any value to your life at all please hit that like button and subscribe now I realize we can't take a u-haul to the grave but there's a flip side to that coin there are people in the charismatic camp who ascribe to the total opposite end of the spectrum and they run the scriptures like third John 1 and 2 it says beloved I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul other translations say prosper now this one here is real easy y'all this was merely just a greeting you know how you type out an email and you say you know hey how you doing i hope everything's well with you stuff like that that's exactly what john was saying he was saying to his brothers and sisters in the faith hey i hope everything is going well with you da 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 da, -da. this was not jesus talking this was not gospel this this was not Jesus saying, hey, I want this to be the exact way that your life goes. This was merely just a greeting from John to his brothers and sisters. I got to talk about some stuff. Some of y'all are ODing on this receiving and not receiving. I don't receive this. I receive this, this, that, and the other. Let me tell you something. Bad things can come into your life whether you receive it or not. Cancer can strike somebody's body. They didn't receive it. Loss of a job can strike somebody's home. They didn't receive that death in a the family they didn't receive that what I'm trying to tell you is bad things happen all the time and have nothing to do with whether you receive it or don't receive it naming and claiming while there may be some good to it it can be very very dangerous because when you start dealing with naming and claiming you start dealing with the sovereignty of God what is the sovereignty of God simply this God is God and you are not God does what he wants and he does not do what he does not want to do you can't bully him in the corner you can't say some abracadabra hocus pocus prayer and make god move when he does not want to move it don't matter how much you 
claim it. If it's God's will, it will happen. You can pray, and if God moves, he moves. And if he chooses not to move, he chooses not to move. See, there are people out there who have been fed this bad theology, and when whatever ha doesn't happen that they want to happen, they walk away from God when it don't happen. Why? Because their view or theology of God was shot the whole time. He is not some spiritual ATM, and he is not a genie in a bottle. He is God, and we are not. And there are people who take it to the extreme. If you don't prosper, then there must be something wrong with you. You must have a curse or you might not have enough faith. Every single last one of those viewpoints are problematic. Now here's how God can use your prosperity. Just because a lot of folks have taken it too far, it doesn't mean that God can't use the prosperity in the life of a believer. Somebody can look at their life and see that the prosperity of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. They can see that it's okay to have nice things as long as nice things don't have you. There's a study out there called the Doctrine of Theodicy, which is the study of why do bad things happen to good people. The Bible says that he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. That means the saved as well as the unsaved. Bad things happen. People want you to be on one side or the other. When the fact of the matter is there's truth on both sides and our faith walk should be a mixture of the two because there's lessons and blessings in both. Here's a scripture that sums it all up. Ecclesiastes 3 1 says to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. The truth of the matter is life is full of ups and downs but the person that has learned to be content is a person that has learned how to ride the wave. Please Lord God take the feeling away and got me feeling away get my millions away I'm a throw my spinning away and for the million away locked up in the prison today